Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, it's your man, uh, Prince Odinga. Yaman, yeah, that's uh, my YouTube channel name. Uh, let me just take this uh, special opportunity once again uh, to greet you all. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It will depend on the time zone you will be watching this amazing video from. Uh, in Kenya, it's already in the morning. We thank God for this special gift of life. You know, when, we, 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 when you wake up, uh, you are healthy. Yeah, you have to say God is good. And you have to appreciate, yeah, for this far is God. So, and to my returning viewers who always come back to watch my videos, uh, thank you, thank you so much, my good people. Uh, I really appreciate for your special support. And uh, to my new subscribers who watched my previous videos and uh, they decided to subscribe to my channel because of the content I'm doing, because of what I'm doing to my good people. I want to say thank you, thank you so much for joining my channel. I really appreciate guys. And uh, also guys, if you're watching this and uh, you haven't subscribed, kindly check me out. Subscribe, like, comment, share. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when Prince Odinga I upload a video, you can get money, uh, notified easily, yeah? Yeah, it's not a need of you going to search Prince Odinga's latest video, you know? Yeah, so guys, the video of today is a reaction video, as usual, as you know, you know? So it's a, it's a reaction video. Uh, guys, there is a something which is not good. Uh, there is something which uh, it has really hurt a lot of people, a lot of Team Marwa, a lot of our audience, they are not happy about what is uh, happening in the village. Uh, the other day, guys, I did a video. I did a video uh, of Congrats, mom. That is after I watched uh, David Junior's Junior, David Junior's video. Sorry, the other day, uh, he was explaining that uh, Congrats, mom, got an accident. Yeah. So we were shocked. A lot were shocked until when uh, we saw our mom uh, in uh, David Junior's video. That uh, when uh, most of the people realized that uh, she got an accident. But guys, uh, what uh, we expected, despite that uh, we are positive or we are negative reactors, uh, what we expected and what I expected from my side, from my audience, from the audience is uh, uh, prayers. People were to put our, con our mom in prayers because uh, what happened to her according to how she explained uh, we really need we, we, we really we really had to have to uh, uh, pray for her so that uh, she can uh, get to a uh, quick recovery and uh, for those who did that I want to take this chance to say uh, thank you so much thank you so much for always putting uh, Ayamara's families in prayers no matter what the situation no matter what uh, the hardness uh, in the YouTube journey, uh, yeah, all we say is God to be in control and Lord to keep them in, yeah, in the best way, in the best place. So, guys, uh, there is one thing actually which has really disappointed me, and uh, most of the people are like totally confused about what is trending right now in the village. Uh, guys you know sometimes we need to know that uh, when we are doing reaction 
we need to understand and we need to have the boundaries. Not all the things we will have to talk about and we are not sure of it. Uh, some of the negative reactors, guys, they have made this to be like something, something I can't even explain. But let's just have a look of this video so that we can know exactly what to where to start from i was expecting these people to come with the contents so that we see what they they are talking about but my good people as i was talking to that content i even mentioned how our father he is i mean congrat dad you know how he was behaving but my good people I was not uh, wanting to tell you what is the reality and uh, what is going on. But you see how they are? They have come with a content. With a content, you saw it, that uh, our congrat mom fall down and uh, he was, she was taken to the hospital. You see? She was taken to the hospital and uh, then she came back. Uh, she, didn't, she didn't go uh, at her home. She was taken to the swamp. You know? Just imagine, my good people. You know? Me, I have promised you always that I will be here. I'm here and I will not change to tell you the truth you know i know there are some people even the react some of the reactors who maybe they hurt me because of some issues you know me i'm here to talk the truth and to expose you know to expose for sure and it's not that uh, I will watch only the content that uh, from the video I expose, no. So long as I know that something it has happened here that is true, I have my witness who even they want to go somewhere, I will able to, to bring my witness. I will do, you know, I will do. My good people, when me I do tell you something, if even is not in the video, you will just wait the content. It will come. How many content I have tell you? How many the truth that I have been telling you, uh, which is not in the video, but some of these it come. Like for yesterday, I told you, my people, My people, I know our dad, the character of him, the way he used to treat our mom is very bad. I was on, I was being called at, at night, yesterday but one, at night, you know. And let me take this opportunity to thank my villagers here. They have come to recognize that I, I am uh, important person because I'm talking the reality I'm talking on behalf of those people they don't talk so I'm very happy with this because they have recognized me as a, a somebody who I can talk on behalf of them so you know my good people they call me at night while something was happening, you know, they told me, you know, there is a war. There is a, a, a war going here. Hmm? I say, what? Yeah, there's a war. Noise here, you know. 
people are crying. I say, ah, I won't believe. Then, yesterday morning, I met another, another villager. He was explaining to me everything that happened. That is why I came out with that content that even our mom, she was suffering. The way our dad treating him is in a bad way. But, my good people, you see, we know everything, and even you, you are very clever. If you have a house, and you just, you just slide in your house, you just fall down, you know? Let us now talk the truth, the fact. You fall down, and you was taken to the hospital. Yeah, that's good. And from there, my good people, from there, you was taken, you was not uh, taken back to your home and you, you, you was been taken at the swamp there so that maybe there is a, a, a safe place. So which means your house now is not safe because you have slide. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a sad story, but you even the way they bring that story, you 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 will even laugh yourself, my people. I'm not laughing, maybe that uh, I'm happy uh, for what happened, but I'm laughing for the funny how they are. They cheat people. Even a small a small kid can tell you that you no, know, that is. Yes, the mosquito uh, is telling his people uh, what happened. That is Masuba one. Actually, I just, I, to some points, I fail to understand uh, what is not happening between this Masuba one and uh, uh, Ayamaro family. You know, this guy is having his own issues. Since day one, even how he started being a reactor, he just started this journey from Ayamaro. And still, he's just digging the family. The other day, he was talking about uh, uh, David Jr.'s uncle. How David Jr. has come to his uncle. How congrats mom cannot help his uncle, I don't know her, her brother, I don't know, a lot, a lot of stupid things. How and, uh, uncle Mo chased away his brother, a lot. And uh, from there guys, after you, are, you can see that this man is uh, playing his, uh, his, his, uh, with his uh, supporters, his audience in order that he can get views. That is what I've realized from this man. Uh, you can see guys, the first time uh, when Dimwango came to the village, he was the one who was talking about Dimwango. Dimwango today is in the village. Uh, why is, no, is she not dressing the way she was dressing in Jamaica? Why is she doing this and this? After there, this guy shifted to uh, congrats uh, brother. Oh, congrats, brother, there and this and this and this and this. Again, from there, he has shifted to congrats and uh, he, uh, herself. He's now telling the people that, congrats, uh, dad, uh, congrats, mom, was being uh, beaten by her dad, uh, her husband. That is congrats, dad. He's telling the people that, uh, when the incident occurs, uh, he was called with the villagers. Huh? It was during the night and uh, the villagers decided to call him.
to come and witness how is that possible during the night time or in the evening yes how is that possible and uh, by the way uh, in the village where Ayamaru is living uh, Nasto, Mayugno and uh, the other fellow the boy that man uh, Masubo cannot even attempt to go in that area he normally fears that place completely huh? since he was jailed with Ayamaru the time uh, he did a bad reaction video and uh, he was jailed and uh, he got warned not to uh, try to go to that village to that area he Masubo one has never went to that place i'm just wondering how comes in this uh, this time he managed how where did he gain that confidence from of going to the uh, to ayamaro's villa place or a uh, congrat mom area how and who's that person who is close who did a call to Masubo one so that he can go there because when you see the closest person to the village to the to the uh, to the closest uh, neighbor to congrats mom's home is uh, mama aunt's home nasto's home mayukuno's home uh fellow the boy's home uh and uh who again who again who again and uh, those other people are those guys from the kisi the people from kisi place the kisian so it means that they are related to uh congrats mom they are actually they are related because they yeah they, they went there to stay there because of congrats mom connection and uh yeah that is exactly those are the closest neighbors who are living there and guys i don't think if those uh, closest people can attempt to call masubo one because they don't have even any close uh, contact with, with Masubo One. But here Masubo One is coming to challenge people's mind that he is having all the evidences to prove that uh, uh, Congrats Mom was being uh, beaten with uh, Congrats Dad. And guys, this is a total lie. It's a total lie. Whereby nobody there is nobody who is having any evidence of that about the incident uh this another lady calling uh, herself modesta she is claiming and she's telling the his uh, her audience that uh congrats mom was being beaten again with the uh, congrats dad after she watched the video of masubo one so masubo one here is the key person the first thing guys you need to know is congrats mom is a big is a big mom is a big person uh she's having the big uh family as this is being stated that uh, why uh, if she fallen down she went to the hospital why didn't david jr to take him back to uh, her home why did uh, david jr take her to uh, Ayamara's place how to stay there why yes to some point that can be a good question to those people who don't reason that can be advantage po a point to those negative reactors why did uh, she go on to the villa instead of going back to her home first thing you need to know is guys uh, and uh, they are saying that uh, why did it uh, congrats that uh, attempt to visit uh, her even in uh, Ayamaro's place the first thing you need to know that is uh, congrats that is not around he traveled to Kisi place uh, he wasn't around actually he's not around the village this is now the first this is the second week the first week actually this is the this is the fifth day He's not in the village. And remember that was an accident. You can't approximate that today uh, there will be an accident. Congrats dad was not there. In the in the, in in, uh, in the home there it's only David Jr and uh, Congrats mom staying there. David Jr with the uh, 
his good knowledge he decided to take the mom to the to the to 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 his big brother so that uh, she can be taken good care of yeah because there there are a lot, there are a lot of people there in the villa there so at least she can get treated well there rather than her being in the house herself who can cook for for her that's why uh, david junior decided to take her to to the villa and uh, they are being saying that uh, uh, congrats uh, that mom was being uh, beaten yeah now this is where the big problem is this is where people will fail to understand about what happened guys i told you congrats mom is a big person uh, she doesn't fear anything when there is something wrong she needs to speak out Guys, if if it's real that congrats mom was being beaten with the uh, uh, congrats dad, he uh, her husband. Do you want to tell me that congrats mom could not express the feeling to uh, her sons, that is David Junior and uh, Ayamaro? Do you want to tell me that uh, she could have hidden the story? If if it's real that uh, she was being beaten with uh, congrats dad, do you want to tell us that uh, she could have not gone and uh, expressed the feeling that oh my sons, I was being beaten uh, with my, your dad because of this and this and this? Do you want to tell me that is uh, impossible for her to to say? If it was real that she was being beaten. The fact is, she could have told Ayamaro or Devi Junior. Actually, Devi Junior was there. And Devi Junior really da loves her mom so much. Do you want to tell me by the time uh, De Devi Junior's dad was fighting a uh, congrats mom, Devi Junior could not take an action and he was there? Do you want to tell me he could have not taken the action? Do you want to tell me uh, once congrats mom was in the villa, inside the villa Medellin, she could not express the feeling to her, her son, Ayamaro, that my son, uh, I've been, I've, I was fought by your dad. Because when he was, she was in the villa there, she's safe there. Uh, if it's real that uh, she was fought, she could have explained to her son. But the reality is, uh, she said what happened. Because even when, if she could have hidden that she, uh, she don't want to say that she was being beaten, maybe next time again she could have been beaten again. But the fact is, she was not beaten, guys. These are the snitches. These are the people who just want to gain views uh, by the lies by talking lies. Yeah. That is the message for, to my super one. And if by any means the family decide to take an action, guys, I assure you that my super one is going to be jailed. Because he doesn't have any evidence. It's only that he's trying to show the people how, how he can do things. And he's very shy. He's filming the video without any evidence. But in, in his heart, he's trying to tell the people that he knows everything. He don't know anything. So my people, that is up to the congrats mom's message. That is up to congrats mom's message. Let nobody not try to tell you that uh, the incident occurs. It didn't. She was not being fought. That is exactly what it is. So guys, let's live alone that. Let's live alone that. Uh, let's now talk uh, to this uh, lady calling herself M. Carol. Uh, the snake. The snake today, she's having the good news. She's having the good news. <laughs> you know, 
I've been telling you why are these people always why always team Ayamaro? Why always the Mwango? Now let's see this guys. Let's see this. Let's see this. Let me just show you. Come. After I finish up with this yapping too much and my too much work, I sit down in the morning, I'll follow the Mwango. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not only the how do you call it? These people, you are feeding me. You feed me. Video, I just see people bus, bus, bus. Why are you doing this to D? Why do you talk about the Marwas every day, every day? D, D, D. If you are not watching me every blessed day, you will not know that I'm doing every day. D, D. You, you should be blaming yourself. Is that truth? Welcome back to the Carbon. You should be blaming yourself while you are watching this thing. Every day, something you disagree with it. You are watching every day and you are complaining. Every day. D, 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 D. Uh-uh. That means you are watching me. I am your bossy, bossy. Anyway, guys. Another video before. I remember I showed you a video of my farm. Hmm? We are not... Uh, Lazy people. <laughs> Guys, don't call me lazy. I don't belong to the lazy people. I don't belong there. I also work hard. <laughs> Dimwango said, I work so hard. Mm -hmm. If you know how people work hard, then watch this video. It is 6.30 in the morning and we are getting to the farm. Let me show you how we sun, always sun. do it. Let me show you the sun and the whole farm at large. Bari amai. So, from six thirty in the morning, we finished planting a whole acre maize and beans. It's 8 a.m. in the morning and we are going to the next project. That is the next project. If you may ask me. What Okay, you can do it. 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 You can do it.
Go to sir. Eh? Go Pale, karibu kwa giti ya kuingia public works. Public works usha ipeleka hapo mbiko? Hmm. Kwa kato ya tuku pata kizito vans ndi ipeleka. Ha, ok. Lakini shika pagi ya giti ya public works. This was supposed to be called my morning routine. Hello. 
this one is almost one week. This should be maybe five days old. Yeah, five days old. So they need a lot of heat. If they still have food, I need to add some food over there. They need to add more food. No water. <laughs> These things are drinking water like something else. And then you have a sick one. <laughs> This one is in quarantine. This one is quarantined. This one is sick. You know? Yeah, it's a bit sick. So because of that, we quarantine it here. We give it food. Okay? Food and water. It will stay there until when it's finished, it's medicated. After medication, we take it back to the two weeks old ones. For the five days old ones, I add them some water here. That's what I'm going to do just now. lake, eh, man-made lake. Mm. There's an outlet down here that goes to the farm. This is like caro. <laughs> like AM. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this water needs to be removed. Like the whole water needs to be removed. We need to clean inside and pump in some new water. This is not clean. This is not clean. And we, we don't have fish inside there yet. Like the commercial fish. That is like homemade fish. Yeah. So somebody somebody has been stealing your vegetables? Yesterday. Yesterday. In the evening. I noticed someone. As they steal, you harvest. <laughs> they have it on this other side. We harvest. But now you see, the thing is that this is a new place. We haven't fenced. We haven't done anything. It's just the demarcation and that is it. And we're still working on demarcation on the other side. So, what can I say? What can I do? Hmm? What can I do? my morning routine especially at this season when we are planting this is my, my this has been my morning routine wake up in the morning go to the farm come back to the farm check the chickens feed them do all those things finish come and harvest also these vegetables because people will be coming during the day to buy them so i can't be coming in the farm all the time i have to make sure i harvest everything from here put it at home so that i can set from home Chicken. Chicken is gone already. I have money in my pocket. Oh, by the way, what's the time? It's around nine, right? I've harvested at least morning, morning, 
money. You know, when you have money, you don't become bitter. You enjoy life. Happiness. <laughs> Happiness. You concentrate on your... Uh, dim wango. Without dim wango, a lot will suffer. My dear friends, I'm telling you, my dear good people, without uh, dim wango, a lot are going to suffer. Huh? That is M. Carot, M. Carol, with the black panther, the black beauty. This lady is not ever beauty. Uh, she's supposed to remove the, the makeups she normally puts on her face. We want to see uh, your physical uh, face. We want to see your physical face. Today, I'm wondering, guys. Today, this is a wondering day. I've managed to see M. Carol without makeup. Now the question is, who brought these makeups in the world? Really helped a lot. This lady, when you see her uh, in a cool place, full of makeup, huh? full of specs, putting the digagas, uh, these are specs, man, with lipstick. I don't know the lipstick. I don't know if it's the cooking oil she puts on her lips. Uh, with the nails. The nails are, wow. When you see the lady, you think that this is now the lady uh, who I can marry. Eh, who somebody can marry. But guys, <laughs> this is the real M. Carol. Is this how she's looking? Is this how without makeup? Oh, the world, guys, the world is going. The world is ending. Now the question is, if this is M. Carol, what about the other hippopotamus calling herself Modesta? How is she looking without the makeup? <laughs> How is she looking without the makeup? If this is M. Carol looking at least, what about the big hippopotamus? I've, I'm now coming to the quest to the answer. Why these ladies, they are not married? Or, if they are married, the kids, the type of kids they are having, even baboons and chimpanzees are better. Especially Modesta. Oh! This is why they are hiding their family. Now this lady today, this Mokarot, decided to show us how she's making money, how she has invested. She has invested in planting kills. She has invested in keeping fish. And she has invested in, uh, in keeping uh, chickens. Wow, that is a great step. Guys, before this, I used to think that this lady, she is a millionaire. According to how... Uh, she's exposing herself on media. How she just take a glass of juice, sitting, talking about Dimwango. Guys, you can think that this lady, she has made it in life. You can think that this lady, she's coming from a tycoon family. I'm just wondering that even Uncle Mo is living a soft life than this lady even uh, fellow the boys living a soft life than this lady even uncle biggie big is living a soft life than this lady people we are having a long way to go i know i do say that they have a long way to go but people have long way to go now yes she has shown us how she's, she has invested. Why didn't she even show us 
uh, even how her whole house looks like she's just showing us uh, how she she's having the black gate how the house looks like why didn't you show us the inner side of your house even we we talk about you <laughs> my guys they, let's not be bragging let's not be bragging if you don't have things talk to the people who are at your class eh? let's be talking to people who are of your class I am Maro my people is not your class M. Carol, Bimwango is out of your class. And I've realized that that's why you are so jealous all the time about Bimwango. Shame on you. We want you to show us the family of yourself. We want you with Modesta to, to see the baboons you are keeping in the house. We want to know the kind of baboons you, have, you are having. Let you just not be showing us your face, your fake face, with, uh, with, uh, with. I don't know how to call this. You call you have uh, put a lot of chemicals in your body, but without the chemicals, <laughs> you are nothing. Even if you are not married up to now, if you are married, keep hiding your kids. And if you are not married, you won't get married because this face and the way you talk, things, nobody can attempt this mess. Nobody. Nobody. And guys, another lady calling black beauty. What is wrong with this lady? She's here talking about the Mwango purchased a uh, a jacket of uh, 500 euros. Is that a big deal to her? <laughs> Let me even know, don't talk about this, this lady now. I don't see why I'm talking about this lady. Let me just end up this video here, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment there. Yeah, say anything about the video and don't forget guys to like the video don't forget to pray to our mom congrats mom we wish her quick recovery we love her so much we love Tim Ayamaru we love Ayamaru's family so much and we love our supporters who normally support, who always support us by watching our videos yeah you know we really appreciate by subscribing to my youtube channel i really appreciate personally i say thank you thank you so much my good people when you support me like that i feel like i have people who can support me so uh why should i stop making videos and you supporting me you supporting me when i upload video you watch so thank you guys i appreciate for your special support may god bless you abundantly team ayamaro always big salute